I'm also going to go ahead and slice up and fry some sausage. And then I'm going to make some sausage gravy for Tom for this week for his breakfast. I'm going to make it regular. I'm not going to do the keto. I can tell you the recipe for the keto one. But um, since he's never tried the keto one, I know he likes my gravy the other way. We're just going to do it like that. Be sure you, wipe, you wash this off. Wash your... Uh, packaging off of all of your products always not just because of now but always and I'm just gonna slice you can buy this pre-sliced obviously you can even use the crumbles that Jimmy Dean does they have the regular sausage crumbles they have the turkey sausage crumbles wipe your knife off every now and then <laughs> this is a sharp knife I promise <laughs> But you can put any crumbles you want. You don't even have to put the meat itself in there. You can just use the grease from frying the, your breakfast meat. Because you can do you can do bacon gravy. You can do sausage gravy. You can even do ham gravy. You can do whatever gravy you want to make. I think ham gravy is actually like red eye or something like that. I'm not sure. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat on under my skillet and get this frying because it's almost time to take those other biscuits out. Remember to pull that off. <laughs> Don't think you can wait until it fries down a little bit. That stuff will melt in a second. Woo, it'd make a mess. That's what it would do for you. It'd make a mess. You know, <laughs> this would taste so good on those other biscuits I made. With a big old piece of tomato. Mmm. -hmm. It would. Good thing I ain't got no tomato. <laughs> I'd be having another one then when I don't need it. There we go. Now. Now. Let me wash these hands off. Yeah, hear that? That's glass hitting glass. Oops! I didn't break anything, though. Now, you can cut this thinner, of course. I just... was in a hurry. <laughs> I was just in a hurry, that's all. Usually, I like to use Jimmy Dean sausage. My favorite is, old, is uh, the Old Folk sausage. But, you know, things being how they are these days, they didn't have any. So I had to get that Weber sausage. I guess it tastes okay. I don't really know. I don't know that I've ever ate it. We'll see. With this gravy that I'm going to make, I'm going to get a different pan out of there too. So fill it out. But with this gravy that I'm going to make, um, it, all I'm going to put in it is a, I'm going to use the grease from the sausage, and then, uh, of course, I'm going to have some crumbled sausage in there, but I may put a, pat of, uh, a few pats of butter. It just depends on how much grease I get out of this sausage, but otherwise, all I'm going to put in that is some, uh, some uh, all-purpose flour and some milk and a little bit of salt. But that's all that goes in this. It's so easy. Now, if you're going to do the keto one, I'll uh, I'll put a recipe for the keto gravy on my handcrafted by page on uh, Facebook. But um, with it, you use the sausage or bacon, whichever one you want. The grease from that. You put a couple pats of butter in it. Um, you use heavy whipping cream. You put you some um, cream cheese in it. Uh, you can even add a little sour cream if you want to to balance that out. And 
you put you some xanthan gum in it to help thicken it up if it needs to be thickened. And wait until you get it, uh, you know, cooking good before you try it and see whether or not you're going to put that xanthan gum in there. Because if you end up getting it too thick, then you're going to have to add either some almond uh, milk or coconut milk or something like that to thin it out. But like I said, I'll put that recipe on, on my page. And just let y'all keep watching this sausage cook up. Okay. That's that's our sausage. You know, I thought I'm gonna put some of it away. We'll have it for sausage uh, biscuits and stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and scoop about three of those out to crumble up for the gravy. Uh, you know, I'm gonna tell you who taught me how to make my, my gravy, and that's nobody but my, my brother-in-law, Charles. I had no clue how to make gravy. Charles is country as he can be. Raised, you know, raised here, here in Kentucky, out in the country. But watch his mama and them enough to know how to make this gravy. He taught me one day, he said, I said, uh, they, they, they wanted, we were, we were camping. They wanted to make some gravy. I, I could make the biscuits. I could make the skillet biscuits. But they wanted to make the gravy. And I said, well, somebody's going to have to make it because I don't know how. And he said, well, here, let me show you, Brenda. Let me show you. And thanks to my brother-in-law, Charles. Love him very much. He's a good man. Um, I know how to make sausage gravy. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. But, we're going to get that, that in there, and typically I don't do it, but for some reason this just did not put out very much uh, grease from this sausage. So I'm just going to put about a tablespoon of butter in there. Let that melt down. And then I'm going to swing y'all around here and let you watch me. What I'm doing here is I'm just going to chop up. I hope you got enough light there. I'm just going to chop this up. Just chop this sausage. <laughs> chop up some sausage. That's what I'm going to try to say, even. Uh, you know, you, you want some good sized pieces so you, you know, get a good good chunk of bite in each one you know what you're eating you don't have to be ground to a pulp or chopped into infinity just just give it a good cut like that now we're gonna get over here to the skillet <laughs> I gotta show y'all this <laughs> look at that oh and they're running off the camera shot <laughs> <laughs> I think they were really wanting a piece of sausage, which they'll probably get here in a little while. Truth be. But, Charles told me to take that and take heaping spoons of flour. That's a big heaping spoon. I'm going to start out with two. It, he would say, no, put three. <laughs> I'm going to start out with two. And we're going to cook that down. Cook that down like that. Now, I could have went ahead and put my sausage in there, but if I did, then I wouldn't know if I had lumps in here when I go pouring that milk in there. I'm going to turn that down. Just have that burner about half on. And we're going to start adding some milk to it. Just a little bit at a time. And we're going to whisk it until there's no lumps. 
if it's if your skill is too hot, just take it off of the, the burner. You know. Alright, now we're gonna add some more. And don't worry about not, not eating all this at one sitting. I don't like gravy like this. The only kind of gravy I like is Kentucky Fried Chicken's brown gravy. That's it. But, uh, well, I'm sorry, I take it back. I like the brown beef gravy. But, uh, you can put this in the refrigerator and it'll keep for about a week with no problem as long as you have it sealed good. You gotta seal it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it over here off the heat to give this time to work a little bit. Give me time to work a little bit. <laughs> At getting these lumps out of here. You don't want lumps in your gravy. Because that means one thing. You can get all that flour cooked down. That's all that means. Like I said, you just keep adding it. I have to eyeball it. I can't tell you how much I put in here. I don't have a clue. <laughs> Here in just a minute, we're going to add the sausage back to it. All right. I'm going to move it back over to the heat. This is not something I make all the time either, just so y'all know. We used to have big family gatherings on Sunday. When my mom and dad were alive, we could breakfast on Sunday. Uh, Or not Sunday, I'm sorry, on Saturday. And uh, everybody would cook up something and bring it. And I got to make the gravy. <laughs> everybody liked it, so I guess I did all right with it. All right. Let's let this cook. Get these lumps out of there. Let's, there you go. Because this is a lump free zone. That's what I said. Lump free zone. Now, we're going to get the spatula out after it now. To clear out this lump free zone. Whew. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of salt to it. You put pepper in there too. I think if I ate it, I would like it with pepper in it. Because it just looks good to me. I don't know why I don't like it. My mom used to fix gravy all the time after she'd fry chicken. She'd take the, the drippings from that and fry up and fix up this big old bunch of, of uh, gravy and some biscuits. And everybody just chowed down on it. I just... I don't know. It looks so good. I just wouldn't. I don't know if it's. I didn't give it a, a chance. Maybe it was just a bad gravy day <laughs> when I tried it. I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my sausage in here so that I can get some more of the, the grease from it. In there. Smells good. Tom be like, I'll take that for supper. <laughs> he's still over there. <laughs> he's still over there working. I don't know if he's hearing me. I'm gabbing away. <laughs> oh, I hear you. Uh oh, <laughs> I'm busted. Yeah, thank you to my brother-in-law, Charles, for teaching me how to do this. My son appreciated it when I made it. My family on our breakfast days appreciated it. My dad, I'm telling you, he used to pick up the phone on a Friday evening and say, Hey, let's go out for breakfast in the morning. We'd be like, all right. We'd grab our bag, just an overnight bag. We knew what he was talking about. Why not? Why would you grab an overnight bag to go out for breakfast in the morning? Because we would go to Cherokee, North Carolina. There used to be a Ponderosa there. Sit on the corner. 
if you're from that area or you've been there, you know what I'm talking about if you was there, you know, in the years past. But he'd say, let's go have breakfast. And uh, he'd holler at, at beach part of the youngins, and those that could go would go. We'd have us a little convoy going down the highway. Spend the night at Craig's Hotel that used to be down there. I guess it might still be down there. I don't know. I don't think it is. I think it was tore down for parking lot for the I think it was tore down for parking lot maybe for the uh, big casino that's down there now I believe but anyhow when he'd say let's go eat breakfast in the morning we'd know we was getting up early and driving down there or we was going to pack our bag and head on out when everybody got off work loved doing that it was so fun memories memories galore I recall one time, he said, uh, we were, <laughs> it was a buffet, so we was walking through a buffet, and he came across the French toast sticks, and he looked at me, he said, Brenda, I want you to look at that. I said, what is it, Daddy? He said, I want you to look at that. They're serving fish sticks for breakfast. <laughs> I turned around, and I looked, I said, Daddy, what are you talking about? And he pointed at him. he said, them things right there. He said, they're serving fish sticks for breakfast. I ain't never heard of such. I just laughed. Oh, I laughed at him so many times over that. I said, Daddy, that's not fish sticks. That's French toast sticks. He said, French toast sticks? Now, mind you, my daddy's country as he could be. He was raised out in the country, out in the country down in a holler. And, uh, but anyhow, uh, it was so funny. He had no... <laughs> if he knew what it was, he never did let me know otherwise. That's all I can say. He never did tell me any different if he knew that it was really uh, French toast sticks. I'm thinking he didn't know. So needless to say, from that point on, he tried, he tried them and he liked them. From, and from that point on, I'd, I'd say, Daddy, you want me to get you some of them fish sticks over there? <laughs> Until the others was told the story, they would just look at me like I'd done lost my mind. Well, there is my gravy, and we're going to have to get the man to try it. He's not going to want any supper by the time I get done here. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? That's some pretty gravy. I just don't like it. I don't know. But he can let me know. Oh, he can let me know if I got it right or not. Look. Look over my shoulder. What? Somebody said gravy. Do <laughs> you want to grab you one of them biscuits? Whichever one you want. And just give it a... I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Give it a try. You want to just dip it in there? I was going to scoop some of the gravy off oh, okay. the piece. All right, let me. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm roasting. Which one are you trying? The you using the, the, the keto, keto biscuit? Mm -hmm. The okay. keto biscuit. I just want to get me a piece of sausage because that's what the good part is. <laughs> <laughs> that's hot. Yeah, it's hot now. It's hot. Does it taste good on the keto biscuit? It does, yeah. Do, uh, do I need to do anything to it? I need more pepper. I didn't put any pepper in it because I didn't know if you'd want any. All right, well, we'll put pepper in it. need a little pepper. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put pepper in it. Otherwise, I believe we're good. Mm -hmm. I'll buy that. There we go. Breakfast sausage gravy. Mmm. -hmm. The world that I get that on my nose. I just don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> that man, I'm telling you. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. Here we go. Put some more pepper in, he said. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Love my pepper grinder. I got that years ago at a flea market here in town. Uh, years ago. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. It's actually a... It's antique, but I still use it. And there, there's a salt shaker that goes along with it. But back over here, let me stir this up just a little bit, and then we'll uh, we'll be all finished with that. Again, y'all, I'm sorry. I, I wish I could give you measurements on stuff. All I can tell you is just keep adding a little bit to it at a time until you know. 
if you're going to use a big piece of sausage, like a full big roll of sausage, definitely use at least three heaping spoonfuls of flour. And again, that I used all-purpose flour for this. I wish I could give you a recipe. I can try to figure it out. I, I do know that it's the two heaping spoons full of all-purpose flour, three or four pieces of sausage uh, cooked and and cut up. Don't don't dice it. Just just chop it up a little bit. We'll give it a rough chop. And I'm thinking we probably used a cup and a half to two cups of milk. So we'll go with that and then as with anything, tweak it to your liking. It's got a pinch of salt in it. It's got a couple twists of uh, pepper. That's fresh cracked pepper, black pepper. And, uh, you know, then just go with that and, and then give it a taste and, and add to it what you think you need to put in it. And that'll be you. That'll be all you. That is the end of the vlog for today. Uh, probably going to end up being three t vlogs total. Y'all won't know that till you watch this last one. <laughs> but uh, have a good day. Have a good rest of the day. Enjoy your weekend, what's left of it. Stay safe. Do what they ask you to. But let's get this thing out of here, okay? Let's get this thing gone so we can get back to cruising and socializing and just being safe, okay? Um, again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would appreciate it if you did. Thank you so much for watching my vlogs. Thank you to Tom for doing all the editing for me. Uh, thank you to our puppies that constantly want out the door when I'm in here in the kitchen. <laughs> and who are probably going to come back and want a piece of sausage, which I'm going to give them a piece when they come back in. That's a nice cool breeze that came in that door. Feels wonderful. Excuse my hair. We know why it looks like it looks. I do what I can with it. Otherwise, it'll be next month, maybe sometime. But anyhow, uh, subscribe, notifications, like, share, enjoy. Take care, y'all. Bye.